In the sport of disc golf, the gear we use plays an important role in our ability to perform on and off the course. From the discs, to the bag, to the shoes, to the chalk, every element can help us maximize our ability to achieve our goals. While it's true that greatness comes from the archer, not the arrows, the difference between gear that complements your game and gear that hinders it can mean the difference between confidence and insecurity. And as we all know, the battle is won and lost in the mind. So today, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the bag that I've been using for the past seven months, the Atlas Pioneer. Now, like many people, when I first got into disc golf, I immediately hopped on Amazon and searched for the cheapest good bag that I could find. And I ended up going with the ever popular Dynamic Disc Trooper. But quickly, as my passion and well, disc collection grew, I found myself wanting a bag that was a little bit bigger and a little bit more professional. So as I was researching different bags, I was immediately hit with a case of sticker shock. Most of the bags that are out on the market right now are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And for me, that was just too much money to pay for a backpack to carry around plastic discs. Now I know that's a little reductionistic, but that's how I felt at the time. But while I was doing my research, I stumbled upon upon Atlas and their brand new Pioneer bag that was coming out. So I immediately ordered one for myself and I got this beautiful blue bag in the mail a couple days later. Now, if you've been following me on social media, you've seen that I posted about this bag quite a bit. This became my daily driver and the bag that I relied on for all the tournaments that I had in my schedule. That bag was the Pioneer version one. Now this bag that's sitting right next to me, this is the Pioneer version two. Now in full disclosure, Atlas did send me out this bag for free to test and to try out. Although this video is not sponsored and these thoughts and opinions are my own. So what do I think about the Atlas Pioneer bag? What do I love? What do I don't? Well, let's get right into it. First off, the things that I love about this bag, the construction, the quality, the price, the company, the comfort, and the weight. These are my top favorite things about this bag. If you know anything about these Pioneer bags, they're made incredibly well. The materials are really high quality. They're constructed well. These things can take a beating and come out clean on the other side. The construction, the quality, top notch. Like I already said, the price for the the kind of bag that you're getting is really unbeatable. These bags come in at right around $89, $90. And for that kind of money, there really isn't anything else comparable on the market. And that was super attractive to me as a pretty frugal person living on a budget. Now, another thing that I love about this bag is actually the company behind it. I've gotten a chance to talk with their founders and their owners a little bit. And one of the things that I really like about Atlas is that they take customer feedback and they implement it into their products. They're always striving to make their products better. Hence how we already have a version two of the Pioneer bag. They heard the feedback that their customers uh, gave them and they implemented them. Uh, some of the things that are different on the version two bag than the version one, bigger pockets on the side for your cell phones or your minis, bigger water bottle pockets so you can fit full size Nalgene's 48 ounce bottles, a couple of the big improvements. And I know that they're already brainstorming on how to improve for a version three. Atlas is continually striving for excellence. And that is really attractive to me in a company. Also, if you've read anything about Atlas and their website, they care deeply about their community and serving others. And that shows in the ways they handle themselves as a business and the initiatives that they take part in, giving and donating bags to people and communities in need to help grow the sport, which is really fantastic. So there's a lot of things to love about this bag. There are, of course, a couple things that I don't love about this bag. And it's really just two things. It's the storage and the stability. While this bag does have some pretty big pockets on either side, I find I wish that there was just a little bit more room. If I'm trying to fit a jacket as well as a towel and a rangefinder and some snacks and some different items in here, these pockets fill up pretty quickly. So I find uh, that I'm a little bit restricted in what I can carry. There's also no, no uh, dedicated place for uh, a disc retriever or an umbrella or anything like that. So the storage is a little bit lacking um, if you're going to play kind of a long round or, or a multi-day tournament, something like that. The other thing is the stability. Now this bag, at least in my experience, does have a 
tendency to tip over a little bit easier than maybe some other bags on the market. It tends to fall forward if you're not careful and intentional about how you put it down. If you're on any kind of uneven surface or slope, you really have to try and match the angle with the bag so that the bag isn't going to fall. Now, if you're careful and you're thoughtful, this isn't a huge deal. You can always find a way to set the bag down so that it won't fall over, but it just requires a little bit of extra thought that sometimes when you're focused on your shot and you know figuring out what your lie is uh, and you just kind of throw the bag down, it falls over, this can fall out. That's a little bit of a bummer. But honestly, all said and done, when you take into consideration everything else about this bag, the construction, the quality, the price, the company, the comfort, the weight, all of these really fantastic features about this bag, that's something I can live with. Uh, having it tip over occasionally, not the biggest deal to me, uh, not a deal breaker to me, especially for the price. If you think about having to pay uh, almost three times what you would pay for this bag to get, uh, you know, maybe one of the more professional higher end bags, like a grip bag or something like that. So it doesn't fall over, you know, that's just not worth it in my opinion, but to each their own. So those are my thoughts on the Atlas Pioneer bag. If you're interested in picking one up for yourself, you can find them at the link in the description below. Now that is an affiliate link, so if you use it, I do get a small kickback, which helps me continue to create content like this, and I do greatly appreciate it. So I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think about this bag or what bag you're currently using. What do you love about it? What don't you like about it? And if you have any ideas for the Atlas Pioneer V3, let me know those in the comments below. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support. If you like this content, you can find more like it at Journey Disc Golf on social media. Also make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Andrew Wood and remember the journey is the destination.